Good morning, everyone. You're all very welcome. My name is Sarah Harney. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Physiology, and I'm also the Program Director for the BSc degree in Human Health and Disease. And so that's what I'm going to talk to you about here today. So, firstly, this is a degree that has a number of objectives, and it aims to provide students with a really detailed and expert appreciation and understanding of various um, concepts surrounding human health and disease. So this includes an understanding of the structure and function of the human body, um, an appreciation of the signs and symptoms of disease, and how these relate to the actual molecular basis of disease, and also um, to provide you with an understanding of the current treatment of disease, as well as cutting, cutting edge therapeutics and innovations. Um, so how is this degree taught? Well, this, uh, we use a number of different learning formats. So this includes conventional lectures, um, laboratory practicals where you get to do hands-on experiments yourselves, um, tutorials which are quite small group interactive um, learning classes, um, as well as group project work. <coughs> so, just to give you an idea of what the curriculum involves, and there's a lot of information on this slide, and all of this is available at our stand in the Biomedical um, Sciences Institute. So, but just to give you some idea, the main subjects that are studied can be grouped into three main areas or themes, and these are basic human biology, the modules that can, will also provide you with core competencies and transferable skills that are required and expected of you know, trained scientists. And uh, thirdly, you will also cover applied biomedical sciences. And I'll give you some examples of what these include um, in a minute. So also through the degree, there's also quite a focus on research. And so throughout the degree, you will um, learn to uh, understand and interpret biomedical research, as well as getting some hands-on ex experience of research during your final year research project. And all of these three main areas come together very much in the fourth year of, de of the degree, where there's a very um, integrated approach to um, teaching various subjects and modules that they can include various um, uh, parts of all these three main themes. So we integrate the basic biology along with the applied biomedical science. So some of the subjects that you would um, study include under the area of basic human biology, these include body structures and systems, which would be anatomy and physiology, um, human tissue types, genetics, cell biology, developmental biology and microbiology and immunology. So these give you a good grounding in understanding basic human biology. The more applied biomedical sciences that are studied include subjects such as oncology, diagnostics and therapeutics, um, exercise in disease prevention and rehabilitation, uh, neurological and psychiatric disease, pharmacology, physio physiological measurement, and also nutrition and metabolism. So what can you expect from this degree? Well, we aim to provide a really exciting and really interesting and practically relevant course of study. And so the aim is that you will get a very in-depth and detailed knowledge of biomedical science, but also of quite a, a broad range of knowledge over all of the biomedical sciences. Um, in addition, you will be expected to develop the core skills that are associated with being a trained scientist. So these include an understanding of laboratory techniques, um, data analysis, you will get a lot of experience in uh, presenting your, your data um, publicly, uh, writing scientific reports. Um, you'll get an understanding of research methodology and also an appreciation of ethics and a, an ability for problem solving and critical thinking. And these are all really important skills in any sort of career that you might decide to go on to from a science degree. 
<clears throat> so this degree is run in partnership by the School of Medicine and the School of Biochemistry and Immunology. And it's with also with input from other schools, including School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, School of Chemistry, Mathematics, the Biology Teaching Centre, Centre for Microscopy and Analysis, the Broad Curriculum Centre and the School of Psychology. So we employ an integrated learning approach throughout this degree. So the example I'm showing here is of how you might study the nervous system. And so first we would understand the, um, how the individual cells work. So this is an individual brain cell. Then you will look at the level of tissues. So these are the tissues that are made up of collections of individual cells. Then you will look at the entire organ. So here is the brain. And then finally onto the whole body system. So you really get an understanding of firstly of the normal human physiology. So in health, how things work normally at all levels. And then also in disease. So what goes wrong um, in disease. So just to give you an example of how you might learn about a particular disease um, throughout four years of this course, and I'm using the example of diabetes. So diabetes is a disorder that affects the regulation of blood glucose, and we take in glucose from nutrients in our diet. It's absorbed through the gastrointestinal tract um, into the blood, and then from the blood it can be either used now or stored for later. And the concentration of blood glucose is regulated by the hormone insulin. So how would you understand this throughout the degree? Well, firstly, in first year, you would study how glucose is used as a fuel source by cells. So you would study cellular metabolism. You would also look at other processes that are really important for cell function, so gene structure and expression in genetics. You would look at protein um, structure, protein synthesis. You would look at human tissue types, so to compare different types of tissues. So for example here, these are cells from the pancreas that produce insulin. Then in second year, you would move on to study anatomy and physiology. And so you would study the physiology of the gastrointestinal tract and associated um, organs, including the pancreas. Um, you'd also study hormone action to get an understanding of how insulin actually works. The third year modules then tend to be more disease focused. So you get the basic um, physiology and normal biology during your first two years and then move on to more clinically focused modules in the third and fourth years. So in this example, in the third year, you might study various diseases that affect the gastrointestinal tract and hormone regulation. You will also study human nutrition and dietetics. You would look at the influence of exercise on disease prevention and rehabilitation, and also look at current diagnostics and treatments. In the fourth year, then, again, there's quite an integrated clinical approach to learning so that you integrate all of the basic biology that you've already learned into clini clinical and applied uses. And so, you, again, you will study um, emerging diagnostics and therapies and also look at diseases from a different perspective, and that is from the perspective of public health and epidemiology. So you would get an understanding of who gets a particular disease, who is at risk, and where do particular diseases occur. Um, in addition, in fourth year, you will get to focus on a really specific research question in your own research project. And this is done in the second term of fourth year, when you have no other lectures, you just have a 12-week um, full-time research project. And that will be done in the laboratory of an investigator um, here in Trinity, or there's also an opportunity to go abroad for your research project. So we have um, an Erasmus um, exchange program with, uh, currently with two institutions. So the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm and the University of Göttingen in Germany. And so we uh, take some of their students, come here to do their projects. And there's the opportunity for some of our students to go there for their research projects. And that's a really great opportunity to get to go to another institution um, for your research project. Um, 
as well as that, some of our students have successfully competed for summer um, intern scholarships. Again, to spend uh, their summer between their third year and fourth year doing a research internship at uh, different um, institutions abroad. So what will you be able to do by the time you graduate? Well, there are a number of outcomes that we aim to see in our students. And uh, these include the ability to integrate key biological principles into a detailed understanding of how the body actually works. Um, you should also be able to relate the signs and symptoms of disease to changes at the molecular and cellular and at every level of, of um, physiology. So to have a really detailed understanding of disease. Um, you should also be able to evaluate different factors that can affect the treatment and prevention of disease, such as um, uh, pharmacological uh, influences, lifestyle, dietary factors, etc. Um, you will also have an appreciation of the link between research and innovation and how that impacts advances in developing new diagnostics and therapeutics. And um, as a trained scientist, you will have an ability to critically appraise scientific data in an ethical and independent way. And finally, you will also be able to design, conduct, analyze, and evaluate biomedical research findings. Um, so one of the questions you might have is, what, what will you do next after this degree? So it's a relatively new degree. We've had one class who have gone through this so far, and so I can tell you what some of them are doing. So about a third have gone on to do higher degrees in um, either masters or PhDs. Um, about another third are doing graduate entry medical degrees. And finally, another group have actually gone into direct employment. And there are employment opportunities, um, for example, in the pharmaceutical and medical devices sector or in academic research as uh, research assistants. So if you're interested in this degree and finding out more, I'd really encourage you to come to our stand in the Knowledge Exchange. We're on the second floor of the uh, Biomedical uh, Sciences Institute. And some of our current students are there, and they'll be really happy to um, speak to you and tell you about their experiences of the degree. Um, there's some more information in the prospectus. And if you have any other questions, I can be contacted at the Department of Physiology. So I'll just leave you with a few uh, comments from some of our uh, former students, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Okay, thank you very much for your attention, everyone.